I remember sitting in the in the hotel room with Porsche that night, just like keep watching this ticker on the bottom of ESPN. We just kept it going and we kept seeing Ball State over Tennessee and then our names were on the ticker with, you know, high scores or whatever. And we just every time would scream and go bonkers. First time in history, so you know, we're always we will always be remembered. Uh, one of the greatest moments of my life. I <laughs> embarrassingly enough, had it on my resume until probably this past job that took up enough of the paper that I had to take it off. Everyone hopes that you get to the NCAA tournament, that you can, can win a few games. And for us that night, I think it was joy because of um, the starting point, the starting point way back in September. This arena tonight is going to have a decided Tennessee feel. The number five seed Lady Vols brought their fans with them to take on the 13th seed Ball State Cardinals in the first round of the NCAA tournament. We were a great team and we were a fun team. We were superstitious about everything. Um, from socks to sports bras to what we ate. Everybody got along. When there was an argument or a situation, we confronted each other and we were okay with it. They handled a lot of things that we as coaches had to handle in most on most teams. And because we didn't have to handle it, it it's so much better when they that they handled it. Um, and so I think that was the dynamic that led them to trust one another. You're more approachable to the other person to where they trust, again, it all just goes back to the trust. Every person on that team, they knew their role, they, they were good with their role. Even if it was, you know, Dana, I'm telling you, Dana hardly played at all. I, I, to this day, I, I say she's the MVP of that team. And Portia might get mad at me, but um, Dana kept us together. We knew how good we were, but we knew we wouldn't reach that full potential unless we were a family, we were as one. We were so like on it, like uh, from the years of Tracy Roller being there before Coach Packer came, it was always like hard work, we were determined. We knew how to have fun and then two seconds later we knew how to flip the switch, we knew how to get the job done. Ten seconds to go. Great pass by the down the lane. Horsha Green up and in. To be MAC champions, um, was something that, as I, my entire career at Ball State, is something we had, um, we had strove for and always come up short. Um, but to be able to do it against Bowling Green with that team was super special. It went from a floater to like, yes, we got it, to then they shot it and missed it, and Audrey threw that ball, and my heart was pounding like this, like this girl is not going to catch me, and I got to hit this layup. I was running so fast, I probably could have fell over my foot when I saw that basket and Audrey saw me leak it to hit that layup and then I just, I think I exploded. I, I didn't know what to do because then it didn't matter what shot they took. For sure we were going into the NCAA. If you remember Selection Monday and they announced Tennessee and we all cheered. I mean, you just think any anybody that didn't think they could have done it, I think would have been quiet hesitant, they wouldn't have had that same reaction. And I remember speaking to my dad and he was like, well, what did you guys think when, when you pulled Tennessee? Holy smokes, we're, we're gonna play the national champs from a year ago. Um, and then it quickly turned to, we got this. A little bit of shock, a little bit of excitement, a little bit of freaking out. And then we kind of looked at each other and said, well, if somebody's gonna beat them, it might as well be us. I think the best I can do is uh, use the analogy of a duck. Um, if you see a duck floating on the surface of a pond, um, the duck looks relaxed and smooth and, and takes on the water. And yet underneath, the, the duck's feet are quickly paddling. And so that was my brain, um, seeing Tennessee as our opponent and having to um, have the poise in front of the media uh, to not look like I was um, concerned and yet um, clearly wondering if we're really good in the Mid-American Conference, how does that stack up against the SEC? And the opening tap is controlled by the Lady Bulls. Everyone full-heartedly felt that we could beat Tennessee. Nobody else outside of us thought we could. Everybody on the team thought so. If you're gonna go into the tournament and beat anybody in a 12-5 matchup, Tennessee's the one you want. As a young girl who didn't dream of going to Tennessee with the Pat Summit, so it was like 
let's prove her wrong. Like you should recruit it from this area, or from this class, or any any of us girls. Thinking about what it was like to coach against Pat Summit and. Um, Someone really uh, right away in the media put together this um, lovely little box and it profiled her coaching career next to mine. And it just was so humbling and just realizing that not only had she had success um, throughout the years in the NCAA tournament, but that she really is a legacy for NCAA women's basketball. Knew I would kind of geek out if I saw her before the game, so I didn't look. And I don't remember seeing Pat Summit until like, it was a free throw and we were on their end and you're getting ready for the rebound and you look up and like I saw her and I was like, that's Pat Summit. <laughs> Just history. I mean, that is women, she is women's basketball. She is what put us on the map. Mager, got it to go. It is all Ball State right now. And Pat Summit wants a timeout as her Lady Vols are down by seven. Biggest lead of the night for the Ball State Cardinals. I knew in the second half somebody was shooting a free throw. Um, and I was standing at half court with Kylie. And I looked at her and said, I think we got this. This is ours. I remember walking off the court at halftime and we're trying to keep it cool as coaches. You know, like we're like, yeah, okay. We're, we're confident. We're feeling good. It was close. I think we, it, was, it was within two points. And the girls go down the tunnel and we get in the tunnel where nobody can see us anymore. We all start jumping around like hugging each other like, guys, we got this. We're going to win this game. I took the ball out under their basket and I passed it to Kylie Jarrett and she took two dribbles and everyone else was kind of shuffling back. It was, we hadn't had a media timeout in a while. We were tired. Kylie passed it to Audrey. Audrey hit the three and then I knew right then that we were going to win the game. You know, there were some games during the season where Portia would be on. Emily would be on Audrey, but that all five were firing. Um, so it was really just cool to see everybody playing and sing. For Kylie Jarrett, wide open look at a three. Yes! It might have been under two minutes or something um, where you got it to a point where you knew they couldn't come back and we weren't going to let them. Uh, and it, you just have that like relief moment where your, your adrenaline goes away for just a second and you realize like, holy crap, what did we just do? I don't think they expected us to be that Good. I'm never going to forget we won by 17 points. I think I just stopped there and I just looked up and I just, I didn't even know what to do because like, again, you think you can do it and then like the buzzer goes off and you just stand there and you're like, oh my gosh, we just did it. We just beat Tennessee. We were all just so playing together as a team that we thought, honestly, we could have taken on the world at that time and Tennessee just happened to be the world. One of the biggest upsets in this tournament's history, the Ball State Cardinals have knocked off the five seed Tennessee Vols, 71 to 55. Just happiness and like pure joy and success. Um, and like you think of all the, the stuff that you've been through together and for it to all come to that point, like it's just, it was an incredible feeling and it was, and I wouldn't have wanted, wanted to be in that huddle with anybody else. Like that team was special and it always will be. It's a picture I'll never forget, me and Shannon, we did like the highest like chest bump ever. And like, if you could see our feet were like this high off the ground. I don't think we both ever, ever jumped that high. At least shit, and ever. Nothing can ever beat that moment. Nothing can ever beat finishing my basketball career like that. People always ask, like they always immediately ask if I played basketball or volleyball because of how tall I am, go figure. Um, and I always go basketball and I go, oh, where'd you play? Ball State, um, what's your greatest memory? I was like, well, actually we went to the NCAA tournament and we beat Tennessee. And they're like, no, you didn't. And I was like, yeah, we kind of did. The whole world called us underdogs, but I don't think anybody on that team ever really thought they were the underdog there. And um, they were so confident, almost cocky, um, that they weren't gonna take it. And they didn't care who they were playing against. It symbolizes never giving up, never being afraid, never fearing the competition, um, and just really like believing in yourself, in your teammates, in what you can accomplish, in all of the hard work from the entire season that we had put together. Once in a lifetime thing that I'll never get the chance to do again as a player. Um, I think all the stars aligned. I think it was one of those days where we played our best. We wanted it more and we came out on top.